guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 7, nope, 6 and 7 of Descending Stories. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 6 in 3, 2, 1, go. And once again, he did so good. You were perfect. And he thought he was going to do so bad. One day somebody might overtake that kindness. But you love her. Well, not even love, more like. You like being around her, so at least you should have did, like, in the kindness of your heart, walked her the fuck home. What, being in love? I mean, you were in love once.
Because if you really didn't hurt your leg that much, you wouldn't have been here. And you wouldn't have met the, you know, your best friend. He would have got hard on both of them, not just her. Damn. Freaking cicadas. Not day, we knew. And he gained a really good friend. Yeah, those two don't always seem eye to eye, but baby. Oh. <laughs> right? Maybe you should just switch. We we know he's not going to be an actor. Because he ends up honing his craft on on his record goal. But at this moment, in this time, maybe he should have thought, like, damn, okay, I was good in this one play. Maybe I should just continue on with acting. Same dog, same. Sing it. <laughs>
Dang. What if it was hot? Like... <laughs> You sure? I mean, sexy stuff seems more like you, but yeah, I get it. He has a more, oh, his aura when he's around at work and around, 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 around his fans. Yes, like, of course, he brings that sexy aura out and it wonders, it makes me wonder why. Why doesn't he use those certain things when he is doing his craft and honing it more? He's not learning from that. But yes, having your best friend telling you these things, you take those to heart. He is. All that you can do. Oh, and of course, the fangirls came in. Oh, goddamn. It's not for anyone else, it's for yourself, and you continuously do it for yourself. Yeah.
That's a different aura right there. Mm, I got a good feeling about this. Oh, but that's it, he gone! <laughs> Thank you.
You can say that. The fact that Kiku finally stopped doing it for others and really more of himself. Yes, he's now on the way to becoming the like his legendary great ultimate OP as fuck self. I'm really proud of him on this episode. Really, this episode was literally all him. Straight up. It really was. I mean, damn. Like, yes, his, oh, I'd like to say because his best friend slash boyfriend got some screen time, but really this episode was mainly about him and Kiku's interest and, you know, his dilemma and these inner thoughts that he's been having for weeks and being, you know, comparing himself to his boyfriend slash best friend and being like, oh my God, if only I was like you, I could have a reaction to the audience. I could be able to do this and do that. And now that he's done it a different way and he's gotten, you know, the audience reaction that he is looking for, he needs to take that and still preserve it more, hone it a little bit more with your skills and everything. And then boom, the greatest of all time. I'm just saying. But, but seriously, this was a really good episode for him. This really feels like a conclusion for his arc and the dilemmas that he's had. Even though we know we're not over with this show yet, but still there's a lot more he has to do. And then I suffer coming weeks, but... Mm. See, the fact that she already is getting jealous of him. Now, my thing is, she's definitely going to have Kiku be like, okay, you need to choose. It's either me or him and such in this relationship. She she seems like the type of woman who is very one-sided and such that when she's around Kiku, she's, just, she's so happy. She loves being around him. Remember, at the end of the day, she is a prostitute and such. And that is the moral of the story about her. Like, yes, yeah, she seems a very much an interesting character, but she is a, a geisha slash prostitute at the end of the day and such. And so with the, with, you know, he was boyfriend at first when I looked at them together and ish, I was like, okay, well, yeah, they might be having fun a couple more times, but was still surprised that she instantly went to Kiku and not him because typically women would always go towards his type and such instead of the smart one we're always gonna go for the himbo type but you know the small percentage of us me included will go for the smart one usually because the smart one is the more sweeter one in the relationship and such yes don't get me wrong i love me a himbo just as much as anybody else and such even though if the himbo is like even if a himbo is hella smart and such there are some himbos that are very smart but because of the fact is he is just in love with Wakugo and that is just his thing, he, he will still get drunk. He will still go um, have sex with, feet, with women and such no matter what because that is the typical man thing. Um, but he just has not found that woman that is his, like, oh, hey, I really want to settle down with you and such. And maybe we might see that because, yes, we know later on in the series his daughter is going to come back when we go back to you present day and such and you know see what she is up to because once again we're, we're six episodes into this show and i'm like damn we have not seen those two care or those characters since like episode one which was like an hour long technically maybe a little more of episode two but damn i'm like where the hell are they at i would really love to see that but i'm guessing we're going to wait until the second half of this show to see more of those characters so fingers crossed it does happen but go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys in one second for episode seven Alrighty, episode seven in three, two, one, go.
Just good. Mm hmm I would be proud of both of them, definitely. They both come a long, long fucking way. Well, we know you got hungover. Shin, are you losing, you know, entrance? And, I mean, you shouldn't. You love it just as much as Bon. Oh. Oh, come on. You can't have one night off? Are you drunk? No. <laughs> no. 
Aua! Ended up going with him, huh? With a drunk shin. Yeah. Oh, damn. Jealous woman, just as much as all of us. None of your business, damn! Nosy! Um. Right? So just get it out of the way, get it done, so nobody has to complain anymore. Excuse me. You're really asking him? <laughs> mm. 
and he wants you to go. No, it's okay. I, I think it's because you know that she likes him. And Bond somewhat likes her as well. So it's just like, why don't they make a move? There's nothing wrong with asking or prying into someone's love life. But you don't want to overstay your welcome with that. So... Oh, damn, you're making her cry.
Exactly. <laughs> right, or a, a suit, something to make yourself look presentable and nice. But not now. He's going on tour. Yeah, I mean, damn, you got a problem with the fact you going on tour? Tell you. Seriously, do not make have it be a pig a pig side when he comes back. Make it nice, presentable. No, he has to be up early. Mm -mm. Seriously. And save your money and spend it wisely. Don't always spend it on booze. Make sure you get clothes and food and anything. Toiletries. You're going to need. You don't know how long he's going to be gone for. You drank more than him. I at least thought he would have came and saw her. Like, at least because he he cares for her. And she cares for him. And if they really wanted to, you know, evolve their relationship before they go. Not like saying they had to have sex or anything. It's just more like him saying, I do like you. I do want to continue being with you and such. But this one thing, we're going to be separated for who knows how long. Like, yeah, you're going on a tour. And you're, go like, typical tours, like, thinking, okay, we gotta think of, like, freaking comedy shows and fucking, um, uh, singers and everything. You're gone for literally about, I think, three to five to maybe six months within the year, because the tour is, like, possibly that long, maybe a little bit longer and such. And, yeah, you don't always get to see your significant others, which really, truly sucks, especially if you are in a long-distance 
um, relationship. But I think with what with people who are in long distance relationships, and they've been together for a very long time, they can truly stand the test of time. Now with these two, they've only really been together since about episode three, four, and such are really just in the where we're talking we're not like the the thing of what are we are we a couple or are we not and so i would have assumed that she would have asked him today being like okay yeah you're leaving soon but my biggest issue is what the fuck are we like in this relationship are we just friends are we a couple or whatever and so now because of this she's now gonna run to shin because it typically, and I'll, and I'll say this, uh, th this is two ways. So this is whoever it is, and this is just for both sexes, male, female, whoever. If you're not getting it from someone else, your significant other, you're going to find someone who is going to give it to you and such. So she wants attention and love from him and such. Maybe she also wants sex from him as well. But truly, you know, she, she doesn't seem that type of girl where she wants to be forceful with him. She's okay with taking her time. But I felt like because of the fact is once again, he is leaving. She's gonna go on and lead Shin on and they might end up sleeping together. And if that's it, then that's really going to bite the nail in the relationship of these three. But of course, I'm not going to know until the next episode. But it, it just from the preview, it looks like we're steering that way. And if it is, it's a little fucked up because I really thought they would not do something like that, especially when it comes to the two guys, one girl pairing and such of a threesome and whatever is thinking that because like when you're looking at a lot of one girl, two guys pairings and animes and TV shows and whatever. Yes, both of the guys eventually do fall for the one girl and such. I've seen it with, like, <laughs> other hordes of animes that I've watched. Um, any other show that I've seen, Hell the Vampire Diaries is like that, where it's two brothers falling in love with the same freaking girl, and they both want to be with her, but she can only choose one because you can't have both. You can only have one. And so we're getting into that. And I think, of course, in the end, she's going to choose Shin because I think... The daughter is their kid, possibly. We, we're still getting a lot of unanswered questions, and this is only episode seven. So hopefully next week, fingers crossed, I don't want her to be with Shin because she's just, she's a lot more happier with Bon. But it's still, at the same time, Bon needs to man up in this moment. Like, I get it. You, you're a little scared on being, you know, in the act of love and being in love with someone and such, but... If you truly care about her, follow through with your with your feelings and go tell her that you love her before you leave because then you're never going to get that chance again. Once it slips past you, you will never possibly get that opportunity again, especially with that person because in modern day times, 50 out of 50, yeah, if, it's a, if it's the female, if it's a woman, if it's me, damn it, yes, I will wait for you, but... At the same time, I will literally question every little motive of what we've had and what we've been through and such. And being like, does he really truly love me? Because if he did, he possibly would have said it by now. And same thing if it was vice versa. If I didn't say anything and if my like future boyfriend was like, well, damn, she didn't say I love you to me yet and such. Like, of course, yes, when... when Girls say I love you to their boyfriends or significant others, of course. Some people think like, oh my god, like shit, we're moving way too fucking fast. Like, oh my god, this girl or this guy has already said I love you to me and such. Oh, I don't know how to feel about that shit. And sometimes most people would just run or not say it back until they are truly ready and such. And then you have guys like, well, or guys or girls are like, oh my god, well, you know, if they do say it and the other one doesn't and such... They, there's so many things that they think about. And it's just like sometimes that can also break the freaking relationship. But we're not going to know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episodes 6 and 7 of Descending Stories. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next... Mm, nope. No, I was about to say Monday. Um, next Wednesday for episodes... Eight and nine, but until then, I well, no, eight and nine. <laughs> my bad. Oh my god, shit. 
Okay. I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes eight and nine. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.